guys hope you're all doing well today is wednesday it is just before 8 a.m and today we got quite a few different errands we're going to be running around and doing uh, we got to go we got one job bid to go finish we have one project uh, that a customer wants us to look at just a small little repair job and then we're meeting with a good friend of mine uh, around lunchtime so we're going to go load up a few different ladders we got to grab our tools and then we'll be on the road it is another beautiful day out today we're now in october so officially fall season you can see with the corn it's ready to get harvested a lot of it already has been um but the leaves are starting to change color the temperature is a lot cooler it's only 13 degrees today is the truck reading i'm not even going the right way i'm backing up to the trailer as if i'm putting it on the truck we are not doing that today all i need is a tool belt and I need the small fold-up ladder and then we're gonna go over to the side of the shop and grab the tall. Oh boy. Whenever I'm off to do bids for jobs, I always bring a caulking gun with me because you never know what you might find when you're doing an estimate if they have current leaks or, or what's gonna, what you're gonna find. So I always bring a little bit of sealant and we gotta get our tool belt. I also gotta find a spot to recycle these tires. It's been an expensive uh, last couple weeks with the truck. We've uh, put, you know, at least a few grand between twat tires and original factory parts on the truck. You can see here, these are what we were running with at the beginning of the summer. And they were just, I mean, you got quartz showing here. It's pretty bad. It's really bad. So, so yeah, there were quite a few things we had to, that had to go. So it's been a little bit uh, harder of a month this month. A little bit more stressful than normal. But it is what it is. It's part of business and it's part of having a vehicle. Miss Hannah. Sorry. I'm going to go load up the tall ladder. Right. You want to say hi to the people? Hey, people. Hey, people. Okay, Miss Hannah and I have the ladder loaded up and we are on our way to the first job. The okay, then what happens after that? Cute time <laughs> Just pulling up to a customer's house, you can see a piece of tin that they were talking about. This is a piece of fascia metal. They have some weird addition work that was done on this house. And I guess this is part of it, what they did. You can see where our two gable ends meet, they're a little bit staggered. So anyways, we're gonna go set up the tall ladder, go get that fixed. And there's a few other areas I can see, you know, some unsealed nails, there's some uh, head wall flashing there. That's popped up and needs needs a couple trim nails. Let's lean this puppy in. Okay, you wanna step on that for me? Yeah. You got me? Yeah. Safe and sound? Safe and sound. Okay. Oh yeah, it's just a nice little low pitch up here. Jeez, this is almost like a 12 12 pitch on this side beautiful tear in the shingle there their vents none of their vents are caulked i'll see if i can reach some of them i can't do all of them but i'll see first we're going to go tackle this uh, little piece of metal here so i think what we'll do we'll hop along this ridge She's windy. Really starting to feel that fall air coming through. This would have been a fun roof to do. So first we gotta pop these nails out because they're not doing nothing. Let's take those rusty nails. Yeah, they didn't seal anything up here. I think what I'm gonna try and do is just put these screws in the existing holes because they're gonna have nail holes there. So we wanna try and fill those. We don't wanna leave them open. And what these screws are gonna do, they're gonna have a lot longer bite in the plywood versus a nail. You can see how those nails just pop up and it's just gonna leave a hole. Uh, which is why we have started to switch to roofing screws. You're just gonna get a lot longer lasting bite in there versus uh versus a nail so it's a good thing this is why i always bring silicone with me when i'm doing small jobs like this i'm going to throw another one in there is because you never know what you're going to find 
and as you can see they didn't seal any of their nails which is a big no-no in the roofing world if you're a homeowner watching this and you're in your own roof make sure you're always sealing any kind of exposed nails you can see how these rust out I mean this roof isn't even that old I believe she said it's six years old so I mean that's just unacceptable you shouldn't be having that it's not gonna be something that leaks right away but over time it will so we're gonna just put a little dab of clear silicone on here now this wasn't even in the original bid for this but I'm just gonna include it in there for I'm gonna put put some on these open nails and I'm not sure how safely I can get down there so this is probably about an 812 pitch yeah if I had pitch hoppers with me I would go ahead and do all of them but it's just not safe enough I mean this that's a big no-no never do this never nail to the face of the shingle like that there's no reason to be doing that they're all like that wow it's crazy you gotta have a little bit of pride in your workmanship I mean that's just that's crazy wow okay yeah that's a big time no-no this boot was cut look at the big gaping hole here that's just letting in water you can't leave that for a customer like that's crazy man and who knows some of these could already already be leaking you know and uh if that's the case you want to make sure everything's sealed in so so we're gonna make sure she's taken care of some of these vents I'm not gonna do I'm gonna have to come back for but uh, just because I'm not risking climbing down there and slipping um, I would have to come back and but I mean this is crazy I can't believe people would leave a project like this like in this state I just can't believe that I can't fathom that how can you charge someone thousands and thousands of dollars and then just leave the roof in a state where you know it's going to be an issue. I take photos and I video as much as I can on every job. And, and uh, you know, I try to just document everything I can. You know, the valleys look fine. Let's just peek your head over here see how this looks. I mean, that looks okay. It's fine. I mean, most of the install work seems okay. You know, their, their joints are far staggered I don't see any these shingles have a real nice stick to them these look like uh, gaff HDZ but right here that's no good see how these nails are underneath that's no good those are uh, low nails you can see how the one is just completely rusted out these shingles are so stuck that you would have a really hard time getting these apart to be able to do a repair without ripping the shingles above it you would do almost more damage than good we're gonna check the slope on this first um, there's another nail because this is a pretty low slope and this may have almost been better done in a low in a flat roof membrane so that's a 1 7 pitch that's a 112 pitch this should not have been shingled this uh, this should have been used they should have been using flat roof membrane on this product Wow and that mixed with these low nails just everywhere hey look there's another one over here and that one's blown through as well so it's creating a nice crater you mix this low of a pitch with low nails and that you're just asking for leaks you're asking for disaster that is uh that is not good all right now these this is a much steeper slope so i mean i could try and do them i don't know man it's pretty steep so i think for these vents instead of reaching all the way around i'm just going to do the ones that are going to meet the most water so your your nails that are on the outside of the vent here that's where they're going to get hit with the most amount of water all the water that's flowing over top is going to run along them so because the other ones are so uh, I need to get proper rope and harness equipment up here to get to them safely. I'm just going to do the ones that are at the sides here. And that I have to come back anyways for the lower vents. So and this is also really bad. It's another really bad thing. Never put a little piece in here, especially with architecturals. Never 
Look at this little piece of shingle that they just slid on top of the vent. What do you think water is going to do? Water is going to ride this. Surface tension is going to pull that water in underneath this vent. And for sure, it's hitting underneath uh, the vent at this nail. That's for sure. But it can even make its way all the way across. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bead here just to seal that corner of the vent. And we're just going to put a little on top. That'll help this. Just kind of seal that in. Okay. So that's about all we can do for right now. I have to get going on to our next meeting. But that is, at least covers all of her, the majority of her vents. And then we'll set up a proper time to come back and uh, we'll tackle, we'll tackle the rest of them uh, and do a more thorough inspection of everything. But man, those low nails everywhere, that's crazy. We're gonna go give Miss Henna a call, get off this ladder. There's a couple spots on the on the porch I want to check as well. Right. You want to just hold the back of the ladder for me? Yeah. You want to pop it right Okay, so that's one job done. I'm gonna call the customer after because we gotta get on the road. And we are off to Balzac's Coffee Shop. Job right here. We did this roof around this time last year. Uh -huh. Did a black charcoal HTZ shingle. All right, just pulling up to Balzac's Coffee. And it is a zoo in here. Well, that's 30 minute parking. We're not gonna be here for 30 minutes. Probably be here for a little longer. Oh no, it's 20 minutes. Okay, that's a big negative. Yeah, no, I can't even park in here. All right, well, we found some parking on the way to Balzac's. It's freezing out here. Thanks, man. Howdy. We made it. Hey, man. How are you? It's warmer in here. Yeah? Oh, thank you guys. Wow. Pretty cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah. All right, man. All right. It's good seeing you. All right. Enjoy. Well, Miss Hannah and I are off to our next job bid. Had a nice coffee there and uh, some brekkie. That was pretty good, eh, hon? Yeah, that was really good. After that terrible parking situation. So now we got to get out of the city. Actually, no, we're not getting out of the city. We're going deeper into the city. All right, guys, just pulling up to the job we're going to do a bid on. I think I'm going to leave the camera behind. So I'm not throwing a camera in the customer's face, especially when first meeting them. So I'm gonna go get some drone shots if I can. It's raining a little bit, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but we're gonna go get some measurements, go and say hi, and then go from there. Maybe I'll leave Henna with the camera if she wants to talk to you guys. <laughs> All right guys, well we just finished up talking with the customer. We're gonna launch the drone up, take some quick photos of the roof, and then we'll go in, take some measurements, and then we'll go meet with the, or actually sit down with the customer and walk them through everything. Do 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 do. The sun just started coming out. Turned into a kind of a beautiful day. up on the main roof have a look ah so this is a case where we have nails 
right inside of our keyways. Super, super, super important, guys. You gotta keep those nails out of those keyways. Okay, let's get a couple quick measurements here. 16. I think we'll walk around, we'll put some seal on, uh, on some of these nail heads because we have quite a few here that you know, over the years could be resulting in water coming in. 30 feet right here. Well, we just had a nice chat with the customer, walked him through all the products and the process and everything. So we completely forgot our SSD at Balzac's. Jesus, it's a funny name. It's and really uh, so we're gonna go pick that back up because we need that for editing. All right guys, Hannah and I are back home. That is pretty much the end of this video. Um, pretty optimistic about that, that last quote we did. I think we'll get that one. So you guys should see that in the future soon. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it. Subscribe if you enjoy the channel and like the video if you enjoyed. It means the world to us. So thank you guys again for watching and we will see you in the next one.